hello everyone welcome to this uh, part 3 of the storage video in order to configure the storage in VC uh, in uh, in this uh, lab uh, you need to go through video 1 uh, part 1 and part 2 the previous two videos in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, configure open filer in our environment so in order to configure open filer first of all you need to go to open filer website and download the software I've download downloaded that software so in order to do that all you need to do is uh, so Probably on this uh, machine I have internet we can go to you can search for download open filer and once you do it will take you to the website where you can download open filer open filer is a uh, uh, basically virtual uh, iSCSI storage it's a software defined storage and that you can download and install so once you do uh, all you need to do is go to uh, go to this link here so you can go to download and uh, once you're here actually you need to download this probably that uh, the download that i've started is probably the same download so the source file is taking us so hold on let me let me check that because i need to make sure that this is the legit uh open filer website this is openfiler.com openfiler.com uh, this is software defined storage yeah that's, that's that's the same file so once you've downloaded that file you need to copy that uh, you need it will it will be available as an iso i've already downloaded it once you have downloaded that uh, you need to create a new vm so i'm just going to create a new vm right here and uh, once you create a new VM, you need to provide that ISO as a source image for installation uh, for OpenFiler. It's uh, it will be a Linux machine. So in here, I'm just gonna go to select OpenFiler. So probably I have not selected that. Uh, I can browse my images. So in here, uh, OpenFiler probably it is. Uh, should be in my downloads which is this one so that's the iso file and uh, so once it is selected you need to go to next within this you need to select the linux machine and within linux it's better to select uh, these other linux so i'm gonna go with 64 by 2.4 uh, Linux uh, most of the time any Linux will do so here in our case we are going to name this 360 cloud OF open filer 01 so this is the name of the server that we will will be using uh, for our lab uh, we'll leave the disk to 8 uh, GB actually I'm gonna keep it to I'm gonna change this to 40 GB so just change it it's a thin provisioning so even if you uh, configure 100 gb for this it will work uh, uh, with 8 gb or 100 gb in both cases it will work and in this case i'm going to start this uh, machine and so while this is starting up i just wanted to show you the architecture this is the server that we are creating so it's an open filer server it is uh, 360 cloud of 01 the ip address that we are going to uh, set up uh, in this during configuration 10.75 so in this case it is starting up so I'm going to click inside and press enter uh, for installation it's uh, almost like ESXi host installation so once it uh, basically opens the installation file so it is extracting all of the files that at the moment it will ask few questions uh, after answering those questions uh, the installation will begin so after expanding all of the file it stops here uh, here you need to just click next and select the language and in here I'll just select yes uh, so you just need to select next here 
so this is why I selected uh, I selected it, uh, 40 GB of disk if you don't then here most of the time it will give an error message so in this uh, place here uh, so if I go back here uh, it will give an error message in that previous screen but so for that reason select 40 GB when you start with so this is an important place here uh, it's saying that you need to get an IP address from DHCP and we need to edit this and change dynamic to manual IP address and in here we need to provide the IP address that we need for our architecture and that is 10.75 the prefix which is the subnet mask is always 255 .255 .255 uh dot zero so this is the ip address based on our architecture we don't need to enable ipv6 and okay and in here uh, what i need to do is uh, so we need to also provide a name for this uh, for now i'm gonna just leave it as is uh, gateway we don't need dns we don't need in this case so i'm just gonna keep them empty and next uh, so in here uh, this is saying that which region you want to select to so I selected the default region in the password uh, Remember that the password is very important to remember because you are going to log in with this so in that I am selecting password 1 and shift 1 which is ex exclamation so next so it will now start installing based on our settings uh, once it is installed then we'll be start configuring the disk uh, remember that we are installing open filer as a iSCSI storage uh, in the previous video we configured windows server as iSCSI target in this case if uh, your company doesn't want to go with iSCSI target as windows they can select uh, open filer you can download open filer and in open filer once it is installed it will be configured as iSCSI storage and later on we can use a shared disk that is stored on open filer okay uh, so i'm gonna pause this video and wait for this installation to complete so it stopped here and i'm gonna reboot this uh, server so uh, after reboot we can log in with the default username and password the default username and password for this is open filer as username and password as password uh, this will take us to the server and it has rebooted all i need to do is press enter inside and uh, so so it will come to a stop once it comes to a stop uh, then uh, we are going to basically this is part of our network most of the configuration will be handled from the windows server uh, by using the http link uh, so i'll wait for this uh, server to fully start in the meantime what we can do we can add two disks through this so i'm just going to go to settings and probably after adding a disk the server needs to be restarted uh, so for that reason I'm adding the two disks so that once it stops uh, then we can restart this and then we can start configuring that from the Windows server uh, so for now I'm just waiting for the settings uh, screen to appear so that I, I can add the disk so here I'm just going to add and remember that open filer is a software based storage software defined storage actually so the disk that we are going to add to this will be available to ESXi host as a shared storage so I'm just going to add 100 GB disk here and uh, so this disk will be available as a shared storage uh, so one disk is added I'm gonna add another disk just for the uh, just to show you that how to create these uh, logical unit numbers uh, once the open file storage is configured uh, so in this case I'm gonna get add this make this 70 GB so one is 100 GB the other one is 70 GB disk So the disks are added and I'm going to press OK. So here it stops and this is where uh, so and open filer is also started. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to reset that one more time uh, so that the disks are also added to the to the server. 
Okay, server is restarted. Now in order to access the OpenFiler server, so again one more time, a quick installation, you can download OpenFiler, then create a VM based on that ISO, and once that is done, uh, you need to configure the static IP address. Once that is done, add the two disks, restart the server. Now in order to uh, web administration GUI is this HTTP 192, the IP address, and colon 446. So I'm gonna go here and open one of the tabs here and we'll connect to that open filer server so i'm going to say http Four four six. So we we are going exactly in the same manner as uh, instructed here. So that will be one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot seventy five colon. So let me see that if that is the correct. So this is uh, HTTPS one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot seventy seventy five dot four four six. Here it is seventy five dot four four six. This is HTTP here. Uh, now let me see why is it just not connecting. Uh, one more time, I'm just gonna say uh, here, uh, it's saying an error occurred connection to this peer using unsupported version of security protocol. Okay, so let me try that. Let me try that right here with another Internet Explorer because uh, maybe Firefox might have some uh, uh, some security settings here so from e from Internet Explorer using the same link I am connected so you can try that as well and the default password is default username is open filer and password is just password small letters password P A S S W O R D so once you're logged in, this is open filer and in this open filer what we need to do first of all We need to start the iSCSI target service. So you need to go to system uh, Actually, we need to go to services here and within the services we need to go down to this is iSCSI target It needs to be enabled number one and it needs to be started so you can start this So so this is started and same thing we need to go for initiator. First of all, I need to go to enabled and start this. And if you're using this iSCSI open filer as NFS server, then you can start the NFS uh, service as well. So these two services are started. Uh, the next thing that I need to go to is system. And within system, I need to go down to networking here and also here I need to allow the network. So this is our 360 cloud network and the IP address that we need to show is 10.0. Uh, this is basically saying that this open file server is available to uh, this complete range. So this open file server is available to our complete 192.168.10.0. If you don't do this, then uh, your servers, these servers won't be able to see the disk on this. So this is very important. Uh, so you can follow exactly as this. So here, just make sure that this disk is, avail this is, is available. Now we need to go into volumes and within volumes, so here, uh, within the volume, what we need to do is, uh, so it's just loading up. We need to now sh uh, configure the disk. So first of all, what we need to do is create, a, uh, we need to create a volume group. Now in order to, before we can create a volume group, let's go, what are the devices available? The devices are the basically the, the disks that are attached to this server. Uh, so first of all, let's see. So these are the disks that are attached. This is the disk. Uh, the first one, this disk is the disk that is the system disk, where, which is the open file disk. And these are the two disks that we added. Remember, 100 GB and 70 GB. These are the two disks that are available to us that can be shared for these ESXi hosts. So first of all, I'm gonna go to, I am going to go to add volume. 
now wherever you click it will always take you to where whatever is the main uh, whatever you need to create first so even if i click on add volume it will take me back to volume groups why the very first thing we need to create a volume group so first create a volume group so i'm going to create a volume group and after that we are going to use those disks and uh, so in the volume group which disk we need to add that this 100 GB disk so I'm going to click select the 100 GB disk here and within the 100 GB disk first of all uh, this is saying that you need to create this disk uh, in this so this is the partition that we need to create uh, we are going to use this complete disk so just say create so I clicked on create it will create that disk um, so the disk is uh, created now I'm gonna go to add volume so in the volume I am going to create a volume group so in here we need to name it uh open filer iSCSI disk vg1 volume group one so we named it and this disk will be part of this volume group and add volume group so once the volume group is added so volume group is added and it's adding the volume group uh, the next part will be to create a physical volume so here so here uh, we are going to go in here and here is create a volume out of this disk so 100% free so I'm going to create this first volume and the volume name will be open for open filer volume 1 open filer volume 1 and the description can be any description and this is the uh, so I'm just going to leave some here uh, so I'm going to just go for 93 and in here i need to select uh, blocks volume so create a storage so this is uh this is creating a volume so once the volume is created the volume is created for us uh, now all i need to do so we volume group is created and the volume is created now i'm going to go to iSCSI target within iSCSI target first of all we need to create a new iSCSI target and add this so target configuration add so this will be added so this is added now you need to go to learn mapping this is learn mapping and here you need to map this uh, this is sometimes called as LUN or uh, logical unit number or LUN uh, and once it is mapped uh, the next is in network ACL you don't have to do anything it is so network ACL say allow so we're done here so we created a volume we have a we had a disk we created a volume and after creating a volume we also uh, shared that as a uh, as a logical unit number or loan and once it is done we also allowed it and i think this is uh, this is what we need to do in here if you need to do the second disk as well you need to go to block disk one more time add that to the volume so we need to go to this uh, the second disk and this is the this is the way that we uh, keep on adding disk to open filer first go to block disk and then create that disk so once it is done you need to go to the volume group so once this is done you need to go to the volume group add it to the volume add this disk to the volume group once it is added to the volume group we need to go to uh, so here we need to go to the volume group and uh, once we go to the volume group after that we create it as a volume and then target as as a so here uh, select the disk add to the volume group So it will there will be two disks that are added to the volume group and uh, after that you need to go just to the volume view members okay 
just a second here uh, sorry manage volumes so there is only one volume if I go to the volume group so in this volume group we need to add a volume group so view members I think we can there is only one member here we can add this from here so I'm adding this disk I'm, I don't I didn't want to create another volume group I just wanted to add this disk to the same volume group so it's adding it to the same volume group and from the volume group we can create another uh, volume and then present it as a uh, learn or logical unit number to ESXi host. so our work here is done now we need to go back to now we need to go back to our ESXi host so I'm going to go back to ESXi host and uh, we are going to discover this desk here uh, so going back to ESXi host and within ESXi host we need to go to configure and go to iSCSI adopter so going back to iSCSI adopter we are going to add another iSCSI dynamic discovery and this time I'm going to add the open filer as iSCSI target so iSCSI target so this is added as soon as it is added uh, what we need to do is so this is added we can rescan the adopters so we can rescan the adopter go back to devices here and here we can see the open filer disk so this is 91 GB available and we can do the same thing go to ESXi host and uh, we can just make a data store so I'm gonna go back here go to the storage and add a new data store once adding a new data store I will see this open filer disk so this will be VMFS volume which is VMware file system I'm gonna select this disk and name this as open file share disk one and once this is done uh, then this disk will be available to all ESXi host so guys in this video we installed open filer we also configured disk uh, as shared disk and then we presented them to ESXi host uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in another video thank you for watching this